The old Heinsberg Police Station is uh, our new Energy Futures Group new office building. The wing uh, that's going up in white, uh, white clabbers on this side will be our office space and the rest of it will be uh, rental space. It's a, a model of, of energy efficiency, um, a zero net energy building. Uh, we want to practice what we preach and, um, and demonstrate that uh, today you can build a net zero office building cost effectively. We really have a, a super efficient building envelope, a lot of insulation, very airtight, um, triple glazed windows, uh, insulation all, all around it. Um, and then um, we've got very efficient uh, cold climate heat pumps to provide heating and cooling for the whole space. All of the energy usage in the building is electric um, and, and all of the electricity for that will come from the grid will, but will be offset through the uh, production of, of uh, electricity from the PV panels on the roof. You can't have a zero energy consumption building without some sort of renewable energy source to, to meet the, those needs. So it's gonna, the solar panels will provide enough electricity to heat the building in the winter, cool it in the summer, uh, provide a little bit of hot water whenever folks want to take a shower or use a faucet, um, serve uh, all of the lighting needs and computer needs and whatever other miscellaneous electrical needs there will be in the building. We didn't have enough south-facing roof to meet the entire electrical needs of the building. Uh, remember in Vermont we have a very cold climate and um, meeting the, uh, the heating needs of a building in this climate is a, is a non-trivial enterprise, um, even as efficiently as the building is being built. So we had to uh, look at other options for the, the solar so that we could get to net zero, net zero energy. Uh, and that included, um, as a result, putting some of the panels uh, on the west roof as well as on the east roof. The building was a little bit of a challenge to start with because it's really an 1850s uh, farmhouse uh, that we then did extensive remodeling and renovation on and then added the wing on the, on the back side as well. So the insulation systems are a little different in the existing building than they are in, in new construction. Um, in the, 1850s farmhouse, we wrapped it with, with foam. Uh, we actually sprayed foam insulation inside as well to get a little bit higher R value, and then filled the rest of the walls with, with cellulose, uh, blown in cellulose insulation. Uh, in the new wing, where we could start from scratch and didn't have to work around the old materials, uh, we have a foot of, of uh, cellulose, which is uh, uh, basically ground up newspaper um, blown in in a high density in all the walls and the ceiling. We've got about a foot of cellulose insulation in the walls and about two feet in the ceiling. I would say the biggest challenge for energy efficiency was the existing building. Typically in, in an old building you're trying to understand how to maintain or create a high performance envelope with uh, existing walls and how do you do that without either compromising the interior space or the exterior space. In this case, we were removing the exterior finish outside and also inside, and we noticed that there was an existing six inch stud wall. So that actually enabled us to not only add insulation on the inside, but also add insulation on the outside. Part of it was integrating the old historic building integrating that into the town where there's, you know, there are quite a few new buildings here and um, we were trying to, we didn't want it to feel different, you know, very different, but we also didn't want it to feel the same as, you know, all the other new construction that's been happening here. So we looked at the colors, the materials, you know, we used some metal around the addition to kind of give that, to kind of set it off so that the old building felt original and you know kind of on its own and the new building the addition had a little bit more of a unique character even though it still has some of the same elements architectural elements as the surrounding buildings this building and it so it ties in together we hear more these days about zero energy houses um, not so much about zero energy commercial buildings and uh, this, is, this is one of the few uh, that are out there in a, in a climate like this and we thought it was important to, uh, for, for our own ethic and for um, 
uh, you know, the, the benefit of society you know, long term to demonstrate that this can be done in a reasonable way without exorbitant expense, um, in a way that's comfortable to, to work in uh, and so on. So it's, uh, it is a little bit of a showcase that way. We've got energy codes in places like California that will be net zero within a number of years. Um, their climates, the climate is not as cold as ours, um, but we know from experience in a lot of residential buildings, you can build a net zero building in Vermont. We want to demonstrate that with a commercial space as well. This building we hope will be a model for others. Uh, we look forward to pointing to it and saying, look, we could do it here. There's no reason why others can't do it as well.